Very good morning to you, Clocking the Gallup fans, and welcome to our preview of today's racing back in Guzulu Natal on a Wednesday midweek, the 20th of July, racing today at Hollywood Bet Scottsville today in Peter Maritzburg. And we're looking at the races due to be run there this afternoon. First race of the day is due off at half past 12 this afternoon. And there are eight races carded, which means that the bipod starts in the first race. And for us, more importantly, the place accumulator will start in race two at five past one. Track looks like it's going to be a good track today because there are no uh, raindrops expected down there. In fact, they've had no rain the whole month. And uh, the irrigation figure in the last seven days is eight millimetres. The penetrometer reading on 23 and they've got a six metre false rail out today. We'll run through the changes as well as we run through the card and our ghost rider selections. A tough day yesterday um, for us and uh, let's hope that we get it right today. In fact, a tough day, I'm talking about Monday at the last Guzuli Natal meeting with the ghost rider. So let's go through into it now. We start off with race number one and that is the start of the bipod, a juvenile plate for fillies over 1,200 metres. And here, Totally Rocks looks to win again. I know that she's got to concede weight to the others, but the Ghost Rider is pretty big on the daughter of Canford Cliffs uh, to win again after a very good course and distance win last time out. Second to number seven, a case is Blossom. She ran a very good debut at uh, Gravel on July Day. And she's expected to improve further today. Third to number 11, get in the queue. And fourth to number 12, Guten Tag. 2, 7, 11 and 12 to open up the meeting at Scottsville. Changes in race one, I don't think there are any. That's why I omitted to mention any. There are none there. Let's move on to race two at five past one. It's a maiden played fillies and mares over the 1,000 metre trip. In race two, scratches number 10, French Princess. Number one, Autumn Spirit has blinkers. And number eight, Royal Oasis has a compression mask on. Selection here is number two, Act Naturally, the daughter of Karari, the two-year-old. Richard Free for Justin Saint. They had a very good day in Cape Town yesterday, and they're looking to transpose that into Guazulu Natal today. Second, number one, Autumn Spirit. Third goes to number seven, Guest Getterix. And fourth to number eight, Royal Oasis, two, one, seven, and eight. Watch out for any marked betting support for number four here. She's not easy. This one um, can attract some betting support because of the breeding. It's very well bred being out of the sprinting mare Schiffer, who really sprinted well. So number four, she's not easy. Tipped to uh, maybe feature here for Mace Roberts and Rachel Venneker. Race three is the start of the pick six at 20 to two. It's a maiden plate fillies and mares over 1,950 metres. Number three, Roy's Tees, no blinkers, and Alamites in front, unshot behind for Roy's Tees. Here, the tip is going to be for number seven, Natasha Rostov, a daughter of Coup de Gras, Cabello Mazzignani for Duncan Howells. To beat her, number two, Mythical Tune, uh, which is the stable companion. Third to number four, Sea Cruise. And fourth to number six, top 10. Seven, two, four, and six are the selections here. Top 10 is interesting because she's got Malicella Caceri aboard, who claims the four kilos. And uh, he has ridden the source on three occasions and had two places on her two thirds. I think he knows her really well, and that puller stable isn't good form. So I'm promote, I would promote that up the order a little bit. Number six, top 10, from what I saw in the form last night. Moving on to race four at quarter past two. It's a Phillies and Mayor 66 handicap, but it's over 1,950 metres. Here scratches number four, Laurel Lane. That's the change in the fourth race. And the selection is going to be number six, Consul Queen, the visiting runner from the Tony Nassif stable with apprentice Rachel Benneker. Consul Queen is tipped to beat her number five, Wedding Bliss. Third goes to number one, Isla Marada. And fourth to number nine, eye catching so six five one nine again a very weak field then race four into race five at ten to three a merit rated 84 handicap it's over 1950 meters scratched here number three grimaldi that comes out of race number five and the vote is here for number six willow's wish it's a very confident selection from the ghost rider sean terry 
teaming up with Richard Faree. This horse hasn't won a race since uh, last year, September, but uh, he was gelded in the process, gelded at the back end of last year. He's had fair runs this year, and we think he'll go pretty close today. So number six, Willow's Wish, tip to beat number five, Born to Perform. Third, number seven, Bayview Express. And fourth to number one, Arumagam. On to the sixth race. And again, the Ghost Rider big on a horse here at 25 past three. It's a merit rated 94 handicap. It's over the mile trip. In this race, number one, full blast races without the blinkers. No blinkers for number one, full blast. And here, Gimme a Star won so well last time out. has been tipped to win again today. And uh, this is the second of the best bets for the Ghost Rider. Same price, funny enough, as the one in the previous race, Willow's Wish. Second to number four, the Terry Runner, Platinum Sky, who's having his second run since being gelded. Third to number six, Fight Song. And fourth to number five, Els My Daddy. We then move into race seven at 4 p.m. A merit rated 92 handicap. It's back to the sprinting 1,000 meters. Race seven, number one, All of Me, who ran the other day. Races with a compression mask on. And here, number two, Faustino is the selection for Apprentice Kachedi and Com Naidu. Second to number six, Prince Kresh. Third goes to number eight, Winter Flight. And fourth to number four, Trivial Matter. Selections here are two, six, eight, and four. The Ghost Rider is also keeping an eye out for number five, Giacomo Puccini. Um, as a possibility here. So two, six, eight, four, and five. Just quickly, a quick comment about the uh, Spice Runners. Numbers one, All of Me, and three, Sweet Sensation, because they ran on Monday. Um, all of Me ran 10th, uh, 4.7 lengths behind Warship, and Sweet Sensation ran third, just under two and a half lengths behind Warship. I wouldn't completely rule them out of the calculations here. Uh, Sweet Sensation's got Kamalo on. It had uh, Donald Getson on now at uh, the time before. But this is its trip, 1,000 metres. And um, she may be very quick today. Uh, in fact, I know she'll be pretty quick. And then all of me, number one, is better suited up the straight as around the turn. And uh, I'm not going to completely exclude those. I know they're running very close to their last run on Monday. But I see that the ghost rider doesn't put them in anything. I might just be including them in my particular perm. So I'd go pretty wide in that seventh race. The eighth and last race is off at 25 to 5. It's a Phillies and Mare 67 handicap, and it is over 1,000 meters. Number eight, Scott Adito will race with a compression mask. And you can scratch number 11, Beckoning Beauty, who won for Louis Corson on Monday. Here, the tip is number six, Flying the Star. I know that the ghost rider always goes for this, especially when it's in Scottsville. And especially when Richard Faree rides it. He's ridden it twice and he's had a uh, place on it. But number six, Flying the Star, is tipped with a bit of confidence to win the last race of the day. I'm just having a look at the price. It's uh, seven to two, four to one. And I, I want to be having a bet on that in the last race today, Flying the Star. Second to number four, Her Royal Majesty. Third goes to number two, Casa Rosada. And fourth position to number eight, the visiting Scott D2, who's again another horse that enjoys it up the straight. So those are the selections for the eight races carded. Our next uh, course of business is to look at the place accumulator numbers and of course the uh, best bets for the day. So our place accumulator today uh, will cost you uh, for a full unit 324 Rand, 32 Rand 40 security, 10%. And uh, if you wanna take 50%, That'll be 162 Rand, 64 Rand, 80 for 20%. Starts in race two at five past one with three numbers. One, Autumn Spirit, two, Act Naturally, and seven, Guest Getterix. By two, four, and seven, Mythical Tune, Sea Cruise, and Natasha Rostov. By one, five, and six, Isla Marada, Wedding Bliss and Consul Queen. Then the two bankers of six, Willow's Wish, and three, Gimme a Star. Two, six, and eight in the penultimate leg. Faustino, Prince Crash went to flight, and four numbers to conclude the last two, Casa Rosada, six, Flying the Star, uh, four, Her Royal Majesty, and eight, Scott, a D2, uh, 324 rand. The top bets for today, the best bets are race five, number six, Willow's Wish, and number six, number, number number three, race six, number three, give me a star, both 18 to 10, and both are confidently selected 
by the clock in the Gallup tipster today. And if there is to be an each way bet, I'd go for that horse in the last race, actually flying the star. I see that it's been backed in a bit. Um, it was quoted at nine to two, is now at seven to two. But I, I'd include that one in your play as well in the last race. So I think it's well overdue for the win for trainer Kareen Bastel flying the star that takes care of matters today tomorrow there's racing out at the Val. hopefully neil and i will be here to take you through that looking forward to that as we continue in the week leading up to the final week of the season really and that sees the running of the marshall's world of sport gold cup which runs next saturday and um, it's a big week and if you're a big cock in the gallop follow up watch out in the next 48 hours for the launch of our final tipping subscriptions for the season, um, which will take us into the new season and a brand new idea that we're going to bring to you. So watch out for that. Um, that uh, advert will be on in the next 48 hours and you can start subscribing to that now. From the team, have a great Wednesday. Cheers for the moment. <laughs>